Hey you, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille and I have entered myself into a hairstyle challenge. So I'm just going to show you the products I've used. This is a mixture of the Curology as well as what's inside this curl control a mixture I apply to my hair. I also use this tea tree and jojoba um, hair and scalp oil. Just to a little bit of it, not everywhere where I feel it needs. Because um, I still want to preserve it past winter time and then i'm trying to use up this dollar tree hair mousse it's not as hydrating as this one is this is more creamier like it says and i prefer that over the dollar tree and i have been checking out the ingredients to make sure there's not um hydrolyzed protein carotene stuff along those strengthening words because i think i'm over indulging on protein applications to the hair because it's starting to get a little tangled more as well as coarse feeling like it's dry um which does happen during winter so i gotta find an equilibrium a balance in order to proceed with good healthy hair and I'm just showing you what's inside these products that I used so that if you do see something that is protein infused or protein involved please let me know so then I can not use that the next wash day so yeah now I just finished it up my hair is still wet I'm waiting a few more minutes so that I can blow dry it a bit and then go on to bed but yeah also my skin has been pretty well okay just slight scarring here and there and i may be growing my little mustache again so but i only do that when it looks nice and fluffy and you definitely notice that i have a mustache and this is all i have on my skin the detoxing overnight cream that i need to rinse off once i wake up in the morning so here's the next day after a nap this is the first <laughs> hairstyle the normal look i just put my hair up with a clip and a little bit of some hair can go in the face but yeah that's about it now this is post tangles and coarseness this is the second day of my hair so it's a bit frizzy because i took a nap before recording this and it looks good but I did add a bit too much gel in the top area of my head, so I saw some flakiness there, which was a bit embarrassing. Then, accidentally tried to take the clip out, and it got caught in my hair, so I had to be gentle removing it. It feels fluffy, yet it feels a little heavy as well, but it could be just the length of it. It's getting heavier. Anywho, um, I thought of adding more water there to like diffuse, not diffuse, like rinse out that flakiness, but I didn't. But here's the second hairstyle. Yeah, this is going to bed hairstyle. No, this is waking up in the morning hairstyle. Yeah. I'm not cutting those off. I'm cutting it when it's June. So hopefully those long, strangled little things can go. Anywho, I wanted to show my cousin if she's watching. This is Pollock, the dollar theater. Look at it. It's so neon. Like, I'm glad they still have the game so we can play. And they had um, hair san hair, um, hand sanitizers everywhere. So that was interesting. And fun the pirates is still here like the display but they're just draped along the edge of the building you know that jazz it looks very sleek yet still old school and yeah we went here 
on Sunday um, because we didn't want to go home. So we went to go see the Shanghai Ten Rain movie. And we have assigned seatings. You pick your seat, you go to it. But the chairs are leather and they, they can recline a little bit. And they're very movable and adjustable for whoever needs it. This guy knew I was recording and I just didn't want to show him, show his face or anything. So I, but yeah, look, it's all pink. It's like their new look pink and black so but yeah there's me putting some straws in the cups that we got and candy and popcorn and these are the displays but yeah this is the new Pollock movie theater they still have original um, statues from before like these guys over here and all that jazz and looks nice we went to theater three and then here's the ending the only horrible thing i would say is that they did not try to soundproof each room from the other because of course you can you can hear what's going on in the next room depending on how loud it is so i wish they would have done something like that but they didn't but yeah then we go outside, leaving the theater, and I didn't want to show people's faces, so I just, we're just looking at some shoes. There's Batgirl, Bat, Batwoman, Catwoman? Yeah, Catwoman. There's my Superman, and there's Batman. And yeah, got a little toy area. It's very bright, whereas before it wasn't. So I like the new sleek black and pink, I assume. But let's check out the woman's bathroom because you know what that looked like. It's now marble. Yeah. Isn't that nice? It's all hands-free for the soap and the water and as well as the hand dispenser. But it did dispense too much of the the paper towels so that it went into the trash so it's kind of pointless to do that but anywho i didn't need to go to the bathroom so i'm going back outside to show you my boyfriend <gasps> it's been years since i've seen him but here's a little display that's been there like last time all these iconic people there's the hand dispenser theme jigger here are the men. One of them's my boyfriend. I was kind of... <laughs> I forgot which one was who. Who was my boyfriend. <laughs> but I think I figured it out by the end once I found a picture of us together. Here are the presidents. Little statues. And then we go back to deciding who's who. I thought it was this guy for sure. But then... He seemed taller than before. It could be I was shorter, but I did stand on on his little statue thing and took a picture with him the first time. So, but that's me and him. So I definitely think this guy's it. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And as always, embrace joy.